What's up guys, I'm Mr. Audio, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I only use a sample rate of 48k and a bit depth of 32-bit floating point. Now, we have to understand what a sample rate is first. A sample rate is like a bunch of snapshots of being taken of the audio throughout time to paint a picture and basically show you a waveform of what the speaker is doing, moving in and out. Basically, it just records speaker position and amplitude of the audio. So the more samples, the more accurate the audio is. So why wouldn't you record in 96K? Well, for one, the files are twice as big as they are in 48K. Two, the sound is extremely accurate. It almost takes the life out of the sound. Try recording a production in 96K and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, the reason I don't use 44.1K is a little different. Plugins just work better in 48K. The aliasing filters start to slope after the audible section of the frequency spectrum so that it really doesn't affect your audio too much. When you're working in 44.1K, your Nyquist frequency sits at roughly 22K, which the slope of the aliasing filter might start to creep into the audible realm of the frequency spectrum. And this could be affecting your overall audio. Add that up a bunch of times over with all these different plugins and all these different tracks, and your sound is slightly darker than it would have been had the aliasing filter been set at 48. Plugins just simply work better. That's just how it is. And the reason I use 32-bit audio is a little different. In order to understand why I use 32-bit audio, we have to understand why engineers today use 24-bit audio. And that's the noise floor. 24-bit audio has a noise floor of negative 144 dBFS. 16-bit audio, negative 96 dBFS. See, each bit adds 6 dB of headroom, up to you get to 24 bits. So you can see why engineers jumped on the bandwagon of 24-bit audio right away. They could record in at lower volumes without any chance of the noise floor coming up when you stack all the tracks together in a production. 32-bit audio stores information differently. It uses scientific notation, so you can fit significantly more data in a smaller space. And that gives you significantly more headroom. With 32-bit audio, your noise floor sits at negative 758 dBFS. Your noise ceiling, plus 770. Just to put it in perspective, a nuclear bomb is the loudest sound we have on Earth, and that's 200 dBFS. So theoretically, there is a noise ceiling, but we'll never actually reach it. So your audio will never be clipped if you're using 32-bit audio. So if you're processing your audio with different plugins, you can freeze, flatten, or bounce, whatever you call it in your DAW, and have no chance of actually clipping the audio. You can just turn down the clip gain to recover those peaks. And I've got a video where I do a deep dive on 32-bit audio and all of the different bit depths. If you want to learn more about that, click the video somewhere up here, all right? But that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned lots. I'll see you in the next one. Mr. Audio, out.